have I got a story for this episode of What's Up Poland? It's our usual, uh, I've got to warn you guys, it's our usual What's Up Poland fair. So it's kind of a uh, bit of treasure, a bit of mystery, a bit of uh, people kind of digging stuff up, finding stuff in caves. And in fact, the, you know, the, the, the cave is the point in question here um, because a skeleton dating from the 17th century has been found to have a bird skeleton inside the skull. And it turns out that it's a 12 year old Swedish girl from that time. It's completely bizarre. Um, but of course, you can find out uh, more about the story by clicking on the, the link below to this video. So you can see all the pictures and uh, find out more for yourselves. But like the fact that they found something like this, and they kind of had to do genetic research and find out where this girl came from. And it turns out that, uh, you know, this girl is dates from the 17th century. Um, and her she had come over with the army of uh, Swedish invaders uh, during the 1655 Swedish deluge. Um, Paddy, you've been talking about uh, Shenkevich in your recent um, What's Up uh, Poland videos. And this is another book he wrote, which is called The Deluge, which is about the Swedish invasion of Poland back then. Um, and and uh, it, if you don't know about this uh, history, it's very, uh, very interesting to see. Um, and you'll see that uh, the cave is in the Krakow Częstochowa um, uplands. So the uh, Jura is called in Polish because it's uh, lots of uh, Jurassic uh, caves. It's like, you know, one big Polish Jurassic park. Um, and they found this uh, skeleton. I think they actually found it quite a while ago, but it's only now that they realized uh, they found the skeleton 50 years ago, in fact. And it's only now that they realized, you know, where uh, where this uh, girl originally came from. Um, the death uh, took place between 1750 and 1850. Uh, and the, the, the names of the academics are absolutely fantastic because you have Dr. Cott, which is basically Dr. Cat from the Faculty of Archaeology <laughs> at the University of Warsaw. But you also have a Dr. Frog from Finland who held out. So you have uh, some uh, kindred animal spirit uh, academic um, activity <laughs> going on here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, and it's just fascinating to see that, you know, no matter where you go in Poland, you'll always find some interesting kind of uh, things going on underground, deep in, uh, you know, caves. <laughs> Paddy, have you ever been to the uh, Jura? Krakow, uh, uh, I, I haven't, Jura, Krakowska, there you go. I haven't, uh, I'd love to meet Dr. Cat and Dr. Frog to talk about the birds. Is that, do we know when the bird was in the... What's the significance of that? So. Um, I don't know. I don't think they managed to find out why. Some uh, kind but, of burial rite, maybe. But it must have been a burial rite or something like that. I mean, like, uh, there is. I mean, the, if you if you look at the article, it does say that there is. You know, there is mystery around uh, why the uh, girl died or how she died. Um, and uh, you know, she did have you know malnutrition and all the rest of it. Why she had a bird inside. One can only guess, but it is, you know, it is a very, you know, tempting metaphor to say that, you know, birds fly and maybe she would have kind of like flown up into the sky or something like that. Um, but yeah, very telling, a uh, very telling tale uh, to find, you know, bones and bones inside bones. bones. <laughs> uh, well, uh, you mentioned, John, that we have other stories about finding strange, mysterious things in the earth. Where can one find such stories? You can find them by going to thefirstnews.com, but of course... You can find even more interesting stories told by myself and Paddy with our lovely guest, Monica, from uh, time to time uh, by uh, subscribing to our channel and uh, clicking also on the link below to find out more about this story. Um, and I suggest uh, you all do so. So uh, I'll wrap it up there and uh, stay tuned for more from us here at What's Up Poland. <laughs>